Alright, so in this video we're going to see how we can um, transfer or get some motion capture data motion onto a custom rig in Maya. So first of all I'm going to reference the rig into the scene. So starting with a new scene, we're going to file create reference and I will bring in the Magnus rig version 10. Right, so what we have to do, we're, we're going to use the human IK um, to help us out. So if you don't have it here, you can click this one up here and I'll bring up the um, human IK menu. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is um, create a character definition, which is really based on the joints that are skinning this um, character right so we can actually the joints are hidden right now but I'll show you how to access those joints so I'm going to click um, create character definition and now in the outliner all right if I go to Windows outliner I want to go click the plus sign here next to the main control and underneath here about five down, right? We'll see a uh, joint chain here, right? Which is currently hidden. But if I select it and press uh, Shift H, right, it should unhide it. And now, if I go here to shading, <coughs> um, extra joints, I'll be able to see the joints through the mesh, right? So now I can use this to create the character definition. So basically, I'm going to um, create links right between the joints here that are skinning this mesh and this um, this view here right <coughs> so first I'm going to click the hip joint <coughs> and go to the part that says hips here and right click and assign selected bone right so I'm going to assign a bone to each one of these um, parts of the definition here Alright, so I'm going to select this one and assign it to here. And you'll see, right, sometimes if it's, um, <coughs> if the, the, um, joints are set up symmetrically, it should, right, if you, um, assign the left bone, the right bone should automatically assign as well. Alright, so I'm going to click, um, this one here. Right click, assign this one right click assign I'll get this first spine joint here right click assign now you'll see these little arrows here does to expand if you have several spine joints right so if I go into this one um, in this case we only have one more spine joint up here so I'll just go to this base one and assign that one and click this one to go back to the full body view Right, this is the <coughs> clavicle here, which is actually inside here, this one here. So I'm gonna assign that one there. This one is for the shoulder forearm and hand. Alright, so it looks like this one didn't get automatically Assign, so I'll just manually assign that one there. Alright, we have to go in here for the neck. So I'm selecting the joint first and then right clicking, assigning, and go back out for the head. That's the last one here. Alright, so we have a full character definition there. Alright, so now I can hide this these joints again I shouldn't have to select them again uh, so I select the hip joint there in the hierarchy and go control H and hide that right so now um, what we want to do is create a definition for a custom control rig right which is this right so we want um, our motion capture data 
to we want it to um drive right this control rig here <coughs> so I'm going to click this button here right which will create the the custom um rig definition so I'm going to click that one all right so now <coughs> I'm going to assign different controls to different parts of this um setup here so I'll start with the hips so I'm selecting the main hip control the call control right click assign selected effector here and the left foot right click assign selected effector the right foot right click assign um <coughs> now for the the knee pull vector controls right actually what I'm going to do I need to actually bring see those um joints again unhide them shift H is to unhide what I will do is just temporarily turn off the um yeah temporarily turn off the polygons and what I want to do is snap these right to the knee position there so just hold on V and move it into into place there it looks like it um, went a bit too far there let me just try and right there we go just wanted to snap straight onto the knee there so just hold on V and just snapping it right to the knee there Um, actually what I'll do is for these here these are in FK right now I'm just going to set these to IK alright set the arms to IK and this one is set up here so I'm just going to move this one so that it is right on the elbow there all right cool so let me turn back on the polygons here and i think now i could hide the um joints again control hide right or control h all right so let me go back to the human ik okay so i'm going to select this pull vector control and assign that here and this one and assign that there all right um this control I'm going to assign it to this one here this shoulder well no this clavicle I'm going to assign it to here all right notice here um with most of the controls I assigned already, it was mapping translation and rotation. Right with the shoulder, it just mapped the rotation alone, so that's fine. Um, now with this one here, I'm going to assign this one as mapping translation and rotation. We don't necessarily need a rotation, but I'll just leave it on anyway. Um, this one here, I will assign to this one. It's not mirroring, so I have to do the left, the right side manually as well. Assign that one to there. All right, assign the elbow. Uh, assign the wrist. Now for the neck, I probably will just want rotation, maybe not um, translation. So let's see. Let me just uncheck translation and right click and assign. Go back up here and for the head, I think I'll do the I'll leave translation off for the head as well. Although it seems to put it back on there, I'll probably just uncheck it there. All right, so that um, is pretty much the full setup here with the IK arms and the IK legs. Uh, so what we need is some motion capture data, right? So um, Maya has one file 
um, that comes with Maya, right? So if we just go to character and go none, takes us back to the original menu here. And I can just import animation example. Click import and you see it brings in well really the one and only example it seems, which is this dummy fight. Alright, so if I play this you see that is the animation that we're going to put onto this rig here. Um now actually if I select these joints here you'll see it has keyframes going all the way down but the keyframes are on decimal points if you see and that's because the um, capture was done at 30 fps so I, I need to change this to 30 fps for this to be for the uh, frames to be on whole numbers right um, So to get this onto the rig, now I'm just going to go, go back to character here, select the custom rig, and for the source now I'm going to go down to dummy fight. Right, and now it's not working. Why is that? Um, seems that this one didn't... Um, This one didn't map properly. Looks like the translation didn't map on this one. So that's okay. Right? We learn from mistakes. Stance. Let's go back to stance. That puts it back into the um into the T pose. So I'm gonna select it again and uh, let's see, select this one, right? So it looks like the translation was not mapped for here or here, right? So yeah. That is my fault. In fact, let me see if I could just um, just reassign it now. Okay, and this one as well. I'll just assign it over again. All right. So make sure we have translation and rotation on there. All right. So now if I go back to dummy fight here, let's we'll see. I get the pose, right, the initial pose, and if I play it out now, right, the animation is on the character Magnus there, right? Interesting. It's actually a lot smoother. Ah, right, because of the frame rate. Yes, I know I did this once before and it was probably at 24 FPS and that's why it wasn't smooth. It's not 30 FPS, it's actually a lot smoother. But still not perfect. Um, still maybe a little bit of jitter in the legs there. That could be cleaned up with some keyframing, right? So. How would we clean this up? Well, what we need to do is transform this motion, right? Because right now, the custom rig is just really being constrained to the um, human IK rig, which is getting its information from this um, source here, All right? So what we want to do is bake those keys, bake it to keyframes, so then we can um, really convert it to animation, right? So that we can adjust the animation manually onto this um, custom rig here. Alright, so how do we do that? Well, it's pretty easy. We just go to here, this menu, and go to bake, and bake to custom rig. If we go to the option box, um, the defaults should be fine. It's going to bake to the time slider. So, I can just see what frame let's just see what frame this animation goes up until looks like it stops around 173 there all right so i'm just gonna bake all the keys now so it looks like it would have actually baked um 
onto the controls that we set right as for the definition so any controls that we didn't set let's see like this one here right yeah dark wouldn't have any keys but the head has keyframes neck so forth so yeah we should be good there in terms of being able to edit this animation and if we were to come you see this is the uh the motion capture rig here that we brought in so if i was to just select that and delete it now uh we should still have the animation as it's baked to keyframes on our rig here and we could obviously move this around and we should still be able to scale the character up and down if we need it at this point so in the next video let's see if we could bring in um, another character and have two characters with date, motion capture data with them at the same time